Berkeley in general is a super challenging place. It challenges you academically and socially and, and sort of morally. But I think that's the best thing about it. When I first came here, I was so sure that I wanted to do nanotechnology. And then Berkeley changed all of that. And it's given me the chance to jump around through you know, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, bioengineering. So being able to sort of touch on each of those has been such a great opportunity. I love tinkering. It's like Legos. I've always loved Legos. And I think I'm still kind of playing with them. Like atoms are pretty much just mini Legos. DNA is definitely Legos. Mechanical engineering is pretty much also Legos. It's been super fun just to build so many different, you know, cool devices and it, it kind of just gives me joy just seeing things come together. Is, I mean, is this one like actually different from the others? At the end of my sophomore year, a couple friends and I got together and, and formed a team for the Tom Berkeley Makeathon for Disability. We were partnered up with a Bay Area woman with quadriplegia. We had designed this gripper to help Bonnie pick up objects from the floor. And it was just a really incredible experience to have her on our side, designing things with us, late nights in, in Jacob's Hall. I just got so much joy from seeing her pick up all these different shaped objects and little coins off the floor and everything, and looking at my teammates' faces and seeing how excited they were about it. That was a really big moment for me. It was kind of when I realized why I want to build technology. I want to help people get the chance to live out their own dreams give people the freedom to do things under their own power. I started doing Taekwondo when I was five with my whole family. We did it all together and when I came to high school, my brother and I started doing this sport called martial arts tricking. The feeling of sort of being in the air and being upside down and moving and being free, it's, it's kind of exhilarating. You know, it's been so fun just to have that as an outlet. I'm going to be starting a PhD in bioengineering at Stanford, and I'm super, super excited for that. And there are a lot of people out in the world who are maybe paralyzed or have locked-in syndrome, something like ALS, like Stephen Hawking had. And they can't communicate, um, and that's, I think, a fundamentally human problem, and that's something that's really, really important to solve. I hope to build new devices to interface with neurons and allow people to communicate with just their thoughts. And what I really love about Berkeley is just that everyone cares so much about the world. And they each see the world in their own unique way and they want to solve different problems, whether that's socially or academically or technically, but they all care so much. And I think that's really beautiful. Oh man, I hope it's rubbed off on me a little bit, I guess, too. <laughs>